Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 22nd of December, Holy Mother, the Church, calls us to the memory of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. She was christened as Maria Francesca at her birth at 15 July 1815. St. Francis was the 13th child of Augustine and Stella Cabrini, well-to-do peasants in Lombardy. Having completed her primary grades under her sister Rosa, the village school mistress, she went on to the Daughters of the Sacred Heart at Arluna at 13. For four years, after having graduated brilliantly in 18, uh, she devoted herself to nursing the poor and sick in the town. At 24, she was uh, given the charge of the private orphanage named House of Providence there. And it is there she instituted and later developed a new congregation at the request of the Bishop Domenico. Due to her marvelous gift of organization, administration and a special gift that she had of uh, recognizing and reading the character of the postulants, the missionary sisters of Sacred Heart, her congregation grew prodigiously and similar schools for orphans with classes for religious instruction for other more fortunate children, adult women, besides hostels for normal schools, college students, founded in quick successions, were really helpful in bringing up a change in the society and counter-attacking those same effects by the Protestants who were doing it. Mother Cabrini, as she was called, had hoped to send some of her sisters to China, but the Pope asked her to send, not to China, but uh, to United States. Here the large number of Italian migrants were present. The Italian migrants uh, who were like in United States, it was a new place for them and they were um, ill-treated, maltreated and uh, unscrupulous agents were also behind them and there was a lot of Protestant influence even. So therefore these Italians who were moving towards the US, they uh, at that time in that 17th, 18th century, they were in a lot of trouble and to them she catered. The year 1891 saw her founding the new the Columbus Hospital in New York. A woman of fine understanding and great holiness. In true humility, she taught her sisters many things which will really help them. The greatest word she always used to say was pray, pray always and ask without ceasing for the spirit of prayer. That is, have the mind always fixed on prayer, she would say. Some of Mother Cabrini's ventures were so audacious as to seem to have been miraculously inspired by God himself. Repeatedly, she would say that the miraculous Lord is working. She is known as the mother of immigrants, especially for her love towards them and the way in which she learned so many languages and worked from the central US uh, to the southern America. Then she went to France and Spain and she, she has uh, uh, had a, a chance of going through the same uh, uh, Atlantic Ocean maybe uh, 30 times and that's how she founded more than 67 religious congregations and the number of, of sisters grew in her time to about 4,000. Mother Cabrini died suddenly when in Chicago, a house of her order on 22nd December 1970 and was pronounced as venerable in 1933 and uh, she was the first American to be honored by the church as a saint. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, here is a woman who lived all her life for Christ and gave her best to God. She, she put so much of effort, so much of effort in spreading the gospel of God and especially towards service, her congregation that she founded, Missionaries of the Sacred Heart, so much, so much of good they have done in all, especially to women, in all, all sectors, fortunate and fortunate, working women, adult women, in all kinds, hostels, schools, catechism to them. So, her, her desire 
to bring Christ and to bring Christian virtues in people led her to so much of work. What is it doing to us? Do we have any desire at all? And if we have, are we translating that desire into action is a big question. Amen.